Baylor football received two more commits from the transfer portal, and I'm going to go over the both those guys. The first one is Alinus Noel, the third, a defensive lineman slash nose tackle from Texas Southern. And I know some people are going to say, Texas Southern, really? Look at his offers. From the, he had offers from the Power 4 level. I mean, NC State, Kentucky, Kansas State, Arkansas, and Maryland, besides Baylor, of course. So he won. So clearly, those schools thought he was going to be a power four player, and he wanted to move up a level, not just to go to group of five, group of six, or group of five, but to the power four level. And he definitely fits a need at nose tackle because of the departures, I mean, the medical retirements of Trey Emery and Jarrell Boykins, and he's six foot two. 320 to 330 pounds so he's a big dude and in 10 games played last year he got 52 tackles 20 of those are 22 of those are solo 7.5 tackles for loss and 3.5 sacks so that is pretty good numbers in 10 games played and out of over 800 guys that were graded by PFF Noel the third was re received a defensive grade of 78.4, which is 71st in the nation, while his run defense was 87.5, which ranked 14th in the country. So he, this is a true difference maker at nose tackle and an overall interior run stopper. And we all know Baylor needed to address this position and the defensive line in general. The other guy is Jacquez Evans, from Western Kentucky, an edge rusher, six foot two, two hundred fifty pounds, who will be a grad senior next year. And I will say that this past year's numbers are not as good as the year before. So I, and but part of that was due to injuries. This past year, and we all, and Jamar Cheney was actually his linebackers coach, so he is familiar. And Jamar Cheney, as we all know, is not Baylor now. So. There's connection there from the start. I mean, I would think from the start. And I'm going to go over his numbers this past year. And in literally one, two, three, four, five, six games played, 30 tackles, 16 of those are solo, one tackle for loss, one sack, one forced fumble, two fumble recoveries, one quarterback hurry, and one pass breakup slash defended I mean breakup defended either way it doesn't matter but in 2022 he had a very solid year to say the least I mean 106 tackles 64 of those solo 14 tackles for loss 9 sack 9 sacks Two fumble recoveries. He also had eight quarterback hurries, five pass breakups slash defended, and one block kick. So clearly, he is a big difference maker when healthy on the field. He is. In fact, he in, in 2022, he was part of all-conference USA first team member. So, as you could tell, when help, both these guys will help us, help Baylor. And I know they're low-level guys, but you can't deny the impact with their... I mean, a nose tackle, a big guy at that, you need more of those. I mean, you need interior, I mean, defensive linemen to help. Especially, you got to get more bodies up front. And... And all this and and Jacquez Evans really is going to help on the pass rush as well so that's really important and run running run defense too obviously for both these guys I would dare to say they need to add a de uh, more offensive linemen that's the only thing definite yeah they need to get more of and possible, I would like another defensive tackle just to have more numbers. 
because you never know with injuries and all this depends on players entering the transfer portal that are not going to get that much playing time if any I mean that are on scholarship so you got to take some attrition before you get some addition so anyways if you like this content like and subscribe I'll see you guys later on the road of 600 subscribers of course ultimate goal is a thousand more so make money out this course like in the video Com comment in the video really helps YouTube algorithm so more people can see Share sharing the video does help as well so more people could watch and if you're watching and subscribe hit subscribe buttons read the notification bell as well and obviously Jock has Evans was teammates with Kendrick Simpkins too that was that enrolled at Baylor this past spring so that's another connection too and that certainly does not help does not hurt at all to have more connections to a guy and nobody on, on the roster ha, has a, accomplished as a pass rusher as Jarquez Evans or or an edge defender so this is definitely an upgrade at that spot and the whole defensive line as a whole so like I said I'd like to see another nose ta I mean, defensive tackle I don't know about nose tackle how many of those are going to be really available at this point but another nose would not hurt and slash defensive tackle and obviously address the offensive line you gotta get better there because we all know in order to win football games sometimes and you gotta dictate up front at the line of scrimmage and sometimes that's the ultimate difference too so yeah